here and you are watching Simulink tutorial. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the ways to implement logic using state flow. So there are four methods, flow diagram, state diagram, state transition table and truth table. So today we are going to discuss about truth table. So let's start with today's video. So before showing you an actual example with the help of truth table, I'll just show you how to add data, input output ports and conditions to a truth table. So type truth table in the blank space of your model. Okay, double click on the block. So to add data or input output ports, select add and ports. So here you can see input, output, function call, output and input trigger. If you go to data section, it is local, constant, parameter or data store memory. So if you look at these options, you can see that these options are similar to chart. If you select edit data slash ports, you can select the input, output and data. Okay. Again, here you have add option. So you can add data here and same options you have here as well. So you can edit here and uh, change the properties of input, output or data. Okay. So moving on to how to add columns and rows if I have more combinations and more conditions. So if you see here, this is a condition table. So if I want to add one more column here, so you can see here, here this is append row and this is append column. So if I click on append column, so now there is column D4 and you can put true, false or don't care based on your requirements. So this is how you add column. Now imagine that if I have here one more condition, third condition. So in that case, I want to append a row. So I'll click on append row. So here the description of that condition will come here and there will be a condition in the logical form. And again, here the true, false or don't care based on your requirements and now you can see here that there is this fourth row which specifies as one one two so these are actions so there could be five actions or two actions so based on the combination of your conditions whether they are true or false you will assign a particular action to that combination and that action number will come here so you can see here that we have only two actions one and two so there are two rows okay so this is action one this is action two so when one of the combination is satisfied what action you want to take will come here in the logical form and the description of that comes here. So description here and what action you want to take. So again here, if there are more than two actions, you can always add a new row. So there will be action three description here and the relevant action here. And if you want to practice two tables in Simulink environment, then you know where to find the problem statements. In electronics and telecommunication, digital logic design, that was the subject I remember in my engineering. So there you can find multiple problem statements to practice truth table here. So this is how you can add rows, columns and conditions in a truth table so we'll move to an actual example which will give you clear idea so this is a truth table in which i want a logic where if input 
is greater than or equal to 4.5 i want to saturate the output to 4.5 if the input is less than or equal to 0.5 i want to saturate it to 0.5 but if input is greater than 0.5 and less than 4.5 i want to pass it to the output as it is so you can see here that i have this first condition that is input u is greater than or equal to 4.5 the other condition is input is less than or equal to 0.5 and now i will assign the true and false to these conditions so if the input is greater than or equal to 4.5 do you really think that we should check if the input is less than or equal to 4.5 no right because input is already greater than 0.5 so this condition will be don't care now if i come here column d2 so the condition input less than or equal to 0.5 becomes true so similarly here i don't care about whether the input is greater than or equal to 4.5 because input is already less than or equal to 0.5 so it cannot be greater than or equal to 4.5 so this is don't care and this is true and the d3 column that is false false so if both the conditions false so in d3 by i have taken both the conditions to be false because let's assume if this condition is false there is a chance that this condition could be true and when this condition is false there is a chance that this condition could be true so we need to check that both the conditions are false then and then we can say that okay so the input is in between 0.5 and 4.5 so that is why we have taken false and false so now the question is why i haven't taken true true because that can never happen in this case because either the input can be greater than or equal to 4.5 or less than or equal to 4.5 so both conditions cannot be true at the same time that is why we have taken when one is true the other is don't care so now we have three combinations okay and we need to take three different actions for this that is saturate input to 4.5 saturate input to 0.5 and in between values that is why we have three actions and now in action table we have three rows so for action 1 what we have condition here that if input is greater than or equal to 4.5 i want to saturate output to 4.5 so y which is our output y is equal to 4.5 so now what is the condition for second action that is input is less than or equal to 4.5 so for that we have action that saturate input to 0.5 so y is equal to 0.5 and the third one is output should be equal to input so this is how you have to come up with combinations you need to take care of what should be don't care so your truth table should be optimized and based on that take actions so i just close this one and we can go to now signal builder so here i have taken signal which is going from 0 to 5 again coming from 5 to 0 and again going from 0 to 5 in a span of 1 second and i have set the step size of this model as 20 milliseconds and the solver as fix step so if i go to this solver you can see here the type is fix step and the solver is discrete and the sample time that is step size is 20 milliseconds so at each 20 millisecond the output will be updated now if i simulate this one so you can see here that input 
सिग्नल इज गोइंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव फाइव टू जीरो एंड अगेन जीरो टू फाइव एंड द आउटपुट इज सैचुरेटेड एट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वेन द सिग्नल इज लेस दैन और इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव देन इट इज इक्वल टू द इनपुट सिग्नल टिल इट रीचेस फोर पॉइंट फाइव सो वंस द सिग्नल इज ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव इट इज सैचुरेटेड टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव एंड अगेन नाउ इट कम्स बैक एंड सो ऑन सो वॉट एवर वी इम्प्लीमेंटेड इज वर्किंग फाइन सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट ट्रूथ टेबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रॉपर कॉम्बिनेशन एंड एक्शन टेकन फॉर दैम So I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video, and till then, keep watching and keep learning.